السلام عليكم كيف حالكم ان شاء الله تكونوا طيبين in this video حنبدا ال uh, restoration for the class 4 uh, cavity preparation اول حاجه نسويها حنمسك السليلويد ماتريكس اوكي هي تكون تيجي طويله حنقصها اوكي للديزايرد لينث اللي احنا نبغاه بعد كده حنبدا نسوي contouring with the back of the tweezers or the pliers اوكي زي لما تسووا الشريط حقت الهديه Okay, so you're just going to do like this, and it's going to be contoured. Now we're going to insert it. Okay, I'm going to insert it. Okay, نتأكد إنه when we insert the matrix, okay, the celluloid matrix, إنها تكون above the incisal edge. على أساس يكون في عندنا enough area. to uh, apply a composite and contour it. بعد كده, we're going to bring the wedge. Okay. And then we're going to insert it. هنا في اللاب sometimes we need to apply multiple wedges we're going to apply one from the facial and one from the peloton هنا we have enough celluloid matrix above the incisal angle طيب now we're going to apply the adhesive system هنا حنستخدم the one-step self-edge technique using the selective edge technique. For our khutwa, we're going to apply the acid edge. We apply the acid edge all the in all the cavity, including the bevel, and we go one point uh, five millimeter, okay, around the margins of the restoration, and we're going to leave it for. 30 seconds according to the manufacturer instructions. بعد كده we're going to rinse it. When we rinse it, نحط high volume suction عليها على أساس هو it tastes so bitter مرة طعمه يعني مو ظريف بالنسبة للpatient. فيصير كده just to remove it على طول we serve suction. We're going to use the air مع the water مع بعض. To suction everything, uh, and then we're and we're going to do it for uh, برضو according to manufacturer instructions. غالباً يقول لك the same time of the etching time. After that, we're going to dry كده intermittently. Okay, intermittent air pressure. Okay. عشان we do not want to desiccate the tooth okay now we're going to apply the bonding agent we're going to place it we're going to do agitation sometimes by the manufacturers you go like one layer is enough sometimes two layers for according to the manufacturer I'm shaking you apply it all over after that you're going to do light light air okay بعد كده we're going to light cure the bonding agent we're going to place it as close as possible without touching the tooth and with finger support and then you're going to light cure After that, we're going to start applying the composite. We're going to apply the composite using a plastic filling instrument. Okay, we're going to apply in increments. هناخد وصلة صغيرة نبدأ فيها ونبدأ من approximate area هنا. Okay, we're just gonna kind of wipe it عليها, and then we have to make sure هنا دي الحتة إنه it's applied properly. Okay, هنبدأ بدي الحتة. We're going to apply it in increments. The increment thickness to one uh, to two millimeter, maximum two millimeter. So we apply it. Kida, even on the bevel, we have to apply it on the bevel. Okay. 
وكذا حنطبطب عليها and remove the excess اوكي ناخذ ال composite we apply it كذا and we keep a neighboring tooth as a reference تمام فيصير زي كذا نمسك اوكي start, start building up هنا اوكي and then we don't forget the lingual surface we have to check in what's happening with that for class 4 you need to look at it in a 3d dimensions عشان ما يكون في مثلا انتوا تظبطوا من الفيشل بس بعدين يطلع تو بلكي فروم ذا بلاتل اوكي كذا جست تو ليفل ات اوكي مع النيبرينج كذا going to remove the excess قبل ما نسوي كيورينج قبل ما نسوي كيورينج for the first increment نتأكد انه ما فيش any excess over here okay. عشان كمان ما تطلع المارجنز هنا مرة حادة so we're just going to remove any excess من البكر ومن البلاتل من البلاتل كمان it's important انه we use a ball burnisher عشان نمشي مع الكنتور حق السنة okay. and now we can light cure After that, we're going to apply the next increment. The cavity here is small, so we can. This can be the second and final increment. Have to make sure that here it may be bulky from the palatal side. So if there is anything bulky, we remove it. في الحتة هذه شايفين نمسك إحنا الإكسبلورر، okay. نعملها كده in a 45 degree angle عشان نظبط الكونتور هنا عشان ما يكون شارب برضو نفس الشيء من اللينجوال سايد we remove We try to contour the tooth as much as possible قبل الكيورينج عشان ما نضطر نسوي الفينشينج and polishing كتير When you're preparing a class 4 okay, you need to see it شايفين from all dimensions نحن حنسوي كيورينج بعد كده حنشيل the matrix band and wedge بعد كده we just we're going to check the surface Okay. شوية roughness so we're just gonna do that with the finishing احنا uh, في class 4 uh, the best tool to use okay, we, uh, is the uh, discs 
سواء من الفيشيا or the palatal. من ال palatal we can use a football shape حسب ال ال النيد. بعد كده هنستخدم ال finishing discs. إحنا ال surface عندنا it's not very rough. Okay. So we're gonna start with the yellow. بعدين add white. Okay. We're going to use a circular motion. على ال surface. We need to take care while using the uh, discs not to remove a contact area. We're going to check with the explorer if it is smooth. Here, we see the incisor angle. It's, it needs a little rounding. If it's possible, we can do it once. We're just gonna. Here, we have the. Uh, a, a, a rough area so we're just going to flip it okay and then just super gently this in the corner so we're just gonna round this area okay بعد كده we're going to go with the finer grit to do more smoothing and polishing. And then we're going to check. We're going to check with the explorer. Shaken, it is smooth. There is no catch. Min, facial and palatal. بعد كده we can do further polishing with the rubber points. Okay, rubber points we can use it in the facial and with the in the palatal surface. We can check how the surface is smooth. We check the contour and all the dimensions are similar to the neighboring tooth. بعد كده نشيك بالفلوس نتأكد إنه we hear the sound of success إنه يكون عندي contact ونتأكد إنه ما في overhang. بعد كده we're going to check occlusion. In this video, we restored a class four restoration and central incisor. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.